I'm a Godzilla fanatic. I've been collecting figurines of Godzilla since I was probably seven. Um, got the exclusive Comic Con poster last year. Saw it twice in future. Got the soundtrack. Uh, but there are these really cool figurines this year that I'm going to try and stack. My four year old is going to go to Japan. Yeah, I've been to Japan. I haven't gone to the Toho since I've been to Japan. But I've been to Japan twice. Oh, what can you tell us about Jughead and that final scene? Uh, not much. I, I think the narrative that we're exploring this year is a uh, prep school narrative, which is going to serve as the, the, uh, the setting that that, that that flash forward is taking place within. It's this sort of pretentious, rich society of people in this prep school that Jughead just sort of gets thrown into. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I don't know too much about it. I know that he's only back in Riverdale on the weekends. That's, okay. that's all I really know. Will we get to, will we get to see some good bug, bug head moments in season four? I think so. I mean, the way it's shaping them now, it looks like they're pretty, they're pretty good. Um, but it wouldn't surprise me if his lack of presence there is, is going to create some tension. You know, you gotta, uh, you gotta have some drama. <laughs> Real men. Um, but yeah, it looks like they're pretty good. I, I mean, I think a lot of the relationships this season evolve around the core four sort of clinging to each other before this inevitable departure into the different phases of their life with college applications and, and where they'll end up going. So it's really, I think it's tight knit this season. Hey, Jay was saying that this season is going to be the typical high school experience. I feel like you personally do not necessarily have that. Like, you get to kind of live that, like, all American, you know, life through the show. Sure, I mean, I was also, I was raised in the States, so, you know, you, you, you got, I, I had a lot of my friends who were going to uh, public high school, no, public high school, so I would inject myself in situations like that, so it's not like I miss so much of it. Um, but yeah, I think it's fun. Uh, I don't know how much we'll, you'll see us be doing homework, <laughs> but I think we're certainly playing around with that return to season one form of uh, like grounded high school. Not so as many mob bosses. Not as many mob bosses or um, matriarchal ninja battles. Or, uh, uh, for the musical episode, Jacket doesn't sing much. For you, when you read that, you're like, oh man, I wish Jughead would get in there more. Are you like, good, easy day? I, I don't really mind the whole singing thing. My, my only criteria is that it makes sense for the character. Uh, in, in the first musical episode, they were all on stage and dancing and stuff. And I thought, oh, this is not really what I think he would be doing. But the way we tooled it in, in season two, or sorry, this last, uh, this last musical was. He was going through this this heartbreaking experience and just happened to be a song. Uh, so I don't really mind if it makes sense for the character. It makes sense for the character, and I like doing it. Um, but it's when it seems out of character that I kind of don't. Uh, and I love that In the flash forward, we saw them burning the the beanie. Are you gonna miss uh, wearing that? I think so. I mean, I, I, it's fun to get, it's like the perfect way to get into character is you put the little hat on and, and you're immediately Jughead. But uh, something grave must have, must have really happened if he's doing that. Or if he's just really tired of head lice. Ready? Yes. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.